Hey, it's Andre from the Eaglesoft Field Guide. Uh, I was asked to do a little tutorial on how to do a supernumerary draw type in Eaglesoft. So I figured I'd come to you and do a quick uh, demo on how to do it. Um, whenever you do a draw type, you need to be in the clinical screen. We're going to go up to list. We're going to go to draw types. And we're going to do a new one. All right. Um, I always do my custom draw types with the name in brackets custom. And then custom supernumerary. All right. And that has to be based on a tooth. All right. And just for the sake of it, what I'm going to be doing right for the moment is I'm going to use all teeth and I'm going to clear this out. All right. And you'll see how I do this after a minute. I also want to set my size of my brush down to two. And I'm going to choose my little circle tool and I'm going to draw two circles one to represent my upper arch and then one to represent my lower arch all right and that's it that's all we're going to do we're going to save this close it and we're going to come back to it there it is there I'm going to edit it all right and now I'm going to uncheck use for all teeth and then I'm going to actually go through and customize this so now I'm going to go to my eraser tool I'm going to make this super large and I'm going to erase. All right, and I'm going to do this for all of my upper teeth. All of the upper teeth, I'm going to get rid of the lower draw type. And no, you don't have to do this 32 times, but you have to do it 16 times. Come on. All right, so there's eight. And then you're going to repeat the same thing. Now in the lowers, we're going to get rid of the upper drawing. All right, I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to cut through. And you're going to do the same thing for the... Uh, primary teeth. So, you know, the same thing for the upper drawing on the upper uh, upper teeth and the lower drawing for the lower teeth. I'm not going to do them all. I just want you to see how this process works. I'm going to get out of here and there's our custom draw type for supernumeraries. I already have one, but I'm going to show you guys how to attach it now to a condition. You're going to go to list and conditions and you're going to create a new condition called supernumerary. I already have one in here, so I'm just going to go down here to show you Here's my supernumerary as a condition and edit that condition or you're going to create a new one and you're going to connect your draw type that you just created to your drawing. Now, when you go to an actual here, let's so you can actually see it. I'm going to connect to the supernumerary that I just created for you. I spelled it differently so you can see it. All right. Now, let's chart a patient with a supernumerary using our new draw types. So let's say they have a supernumerary of four. It's always going to be the, to the distal side of it. So condition, supernumerary, use it, and OK. And there's our draw type for our supernumerary. And you know that's the way it's going to be. Hopefully that helps you. And uh, if you have any questions, please send me a message. Help me, happy to help. Thanks.